Um, I want to say a few words about a competitive advantage as investors at Giverny. What kind of competitive advantage can we have? Well, first, um, I think it's three things. Patience, humility, and rationality. Uh, humility. I think we do believe that it's impossible to predict macroeconomic events. So we don't try to predict them. Uh, also, one key element, uh, key element is to focus on your circle of competence and to know where the limits of that circle is. And thirdly, we want to recognize our mistakes when we do them and always try to improve our stock selection process. A few uh, words on the timing of purchases. Uh, Woody Allen uh, said that 80% uh, of success is showing up. And so that's one of the main reasons we always want to be invested in the stock market because we believe that owning great companies, not trying to predict the stock market, is the key thing uh, to be able to, to beat the index over the long run. And by always striving for improvement, we try to study our mistakes in details. So each year on an annual letter, we have this yearly medals that we give to our best <coughs> mistakes. And uh, it's a very popular part of our annual letter. I don't know why, but uh, uh, because it's very painful. But uh, I think that's very important if you want to continue to improve yourself. A few words on rationality. Uh, we try not to be affected when others make more money than us in stocks because there's always fads and, you know, we don't get into fads. So sometimes we'll be, you know, different from uh, what's going on in the very popular part of the stock market. But, you know, we try to be rational and say, well, if, it's, if we don't really understand it, if we could, don't think that's a, you know, a good area what we, where our capital should be invested, we just stay away from it. And we try to be impervious to the stock market uh, quotation in the short run. So it takes a lot of rationality because the stock market can be very, very volatile. So uh, we try to always be, uh, you know, uh, calm and try to always have the high on the long-term horizons of the company we purchase. And we accept that uh, we don't know the future. And we try to focus on, you know, part of the process that we can control. It's really to like I said, to look for companies that we understand, that we believe, that have a competitive advantage. And, you know, we accept that we don't know exactly how things will work out. But, you know, if you own great companies with great managers, eventually you should be okay. And that comes up to something we, uh, we put out a few years back, I call it the rule of three. It's really to accept that one year out of three, the stock market will decline by 10% or more. One stock purchase out of three will not perform as expected. And one year out of three, you'll underperform the index. And that's the best managers usually underperform one year out of three. So it's, a, it's still a very ambitious uh, rule, a group of rules. But uh, if you accept that from the start, when you'll have some bad years and some bad investments, you'll be better prepared psychologically to, to deal with them. And a, a few words on patience. Well. I have this saying that uh, patience is not the ability to wait, but the ability to keep a good attitude while waiting. So what's the good attitude in the investment world? It's really to focus on what's happening in the company, not what's happening to the stock. And that's a, sometimes a hard thing to do. But if you go back to the example of CarMax, CarMax stock over the last decade has been quite volatile. It went down 25% a few times. But if you look at the earnings over those 10 years, it's been a pretty stable business. So if you just focus on what's happened to CarMax over the last 10 years, I think beside 2009, earnings went up every year and it grew uh, earnings by more than 16% uh, annually. So just focus on that and forget about the, the stock price movements. You'll be okay. <laughs>